I will remove all this code I will remove all this code and I will add it this way import material dart okay now we need to add our void main so void main and in here we need to add our run app and run app have a widget of app and this is material app okay now we need to add our home class that we want to run when our application will open so right now i don't have any dart file so i need to create a new dart file so go to this library folder and i will create new dart file and i will call it home page okay so import material dart all right now i will like to now i need to add a stateful widget so a stateful widget and i will choose a class home okay now go back to this main main class and import we need to import this home page and in here we can call our class that is our home class so what i normally did here i just uh, separate all this code so that it will understand for um, for future part okay so i have just separate all this code so if you want you can do it on your main page that generated by flutter okay so it's not a big deal so i prefer to work this way so i have separated all this code now this is our now this is my main page when our application will open then these apps will open then this page will open okay now first i would like to change this container to a scaffold widget okay all right now we need to add a app bar and app bar is going to be new app bar and app bar should have a title and title is going to be new text uh, it's not text field it should be text and we can call it flutter tab bar flutter tab bar and flutter tab bar should have a background color and i can choose colors dot orange okay so now if we run this application we will see a app bar and a background color and a title okay so now we need to add a bottom and in here we need to add our new tab bar okay so new tab bar tab bar has a tabs of property so we will add it later so before that first we need to add a tab controller so we can choose tab controller and we need to create the object of our tab controller so tab controller tab controller okay now we need to implement two method one it init state okay and in here we need to initialize our tab bar controller object that we have created so tab controller is going to be new tab controller and it will give us two parameter one is land and one, one is vsync so for length means how many tab we want to add inside our tab bar so for example i would like to add four tab so i will add four and for vsync we need to do it this but still it will give us an error and the reason is that in here we need to add single page ticker so with single ticker we provider now all done now we need to add another method so that is dispose and in here we need to dispose our tab controller so we can choose so we can choose tab controller dot dispose so you can see it's very simple if we used to uh, work with java then it was very very difficult to implement a tab bar but for flutter it's very very easy only we just need to add few line of code to implement all this required field now go back to this tab bar so remove these tabs so inside this tab bar it will require two parameter one is for controller and this controller is our tab controller that we have created so this controller is this controller that we have created okay now we need to add our tab and tabs has a widget of property and in here we need to implement and in here we need to implement our tab so we can do this this way new new tab and 
it's still working i think you can do it this way so new tab it is still running oh god so i think uh, we need to wait So in here we need to add our tab. So now if we open our emulator, hopefully we will be able to see our application. so now we can see so now we can see our application now we can see our tab bar and our tab bar name okay so now we need to add a now we need to add our tabs so i can do this for adding tab we need to add new tab tab is going new tab and tab is going to be for icon and we can select new icon and icon will have icons so icons dot we can choose title and add a comma add few more tab so new tab and tab is going to be icon icon is going to be new icon new icon icon will have icons dot we can choose some random icon and new tab and it's going to be icon is going to be new icon and icons dot we can choose print and i need to add one more icon so new tab tab will have an icon icon is going to be new icon and icon will have icons icon start we can choose send okay so we have added four tab inside our tab controller inside our tab bar so now if we hot reload this i think we need to run it again instead of hot reload so now here we go now we can see now we can see four icon now we can click it here you can see simple animation that is provided by flutter but still there is an indicator color but we can't see it so we need to modify it so we can do it in a different way so in here inside this tab bar there is a property called indicator color you can choose indicator color so color dot so colors dot you can choose white color there is another property indicator padding we can choose a padding so as inset all we can choose 5.0 now we can see now it's looking good okay so now but if we swap it inside the middle of this tab bar then we will not be then then we can't see anything okay so for doing this we need to add inside our body so we can choose we can int here we can call it app bar int okay now implement body so inside this body we need to add tab bar controller we need to add tab bar view okay tab bar view has a children first tab bar view has a controller and this controller is tab controller that we have created and it has a children 
children of widget and in here we need to add our pages what we want to add so for we have added four icons so we need to get four pages so how can we do this so first we need, we need to create four different pages okay we can call it first page first page okay now import material dot import material dot and add a stateless widget and we can call it first and just uh, change this container to scaffold widget okay and scaffold widget and what we can do we can add we can add a title so we can add body text so body new container and add child is going to be new center uh, inside the center we can add a text new text center should have a child child is going to be new text and we can call it first page and add a style a style is going to be text style and font size we can choose 40.0 and color okay you can do this and color is going to be colors dot we can choose black color all right so our first page is ready so create three more pages so now it's second page second page uh, import material page route and we can choose it and we can copy this from first page and we will change the text and change this name to second okay and it is going to be second page second page okay so we can again copy all this thing <coughs> and create two more so this one is third page and we can choose this dsi add the third page uh, and now we need to add it fourth page of you fourth page and fourth page okay so now come to this home page and first we need to add all this package name this way so import first page and in here we need to add a sf first page we need to add a variable like this way so sfp so when we will implement this page then then we will need to work with this fp okay so you can choose any name whatever you want okay so import now it's second page second page as sp it means second page import third page as as third page tp and import fourth page as fourth page all right now inside this tab bar view in here we need to add our all these page that we have so new for first page first page dot first then we need to call our class name okay so this is our class name so first page fp 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 this fp and our class name so for first page our class name is first okay so that's why we have added here first page fp first and in the same way new second page dot second new third page dot third okay so for third phase for third and fourth page i think we forget to change our class name so change the class name third and for fourth page change the class name fourth okay so go back to this home page now for third page we can choose third and for new for fourth page dot fourth all right 
so now all done so now we can run so we can do hot reload now we can see in fourth page now we can swap this is third page this is second page and this is first page so as you can see all this thing is done perfectly so we have successfully implemented our flutter tab bar so guys don't forget to subscribe my channel please subscribe this channel now each and every day you will get a lot of flutter tutorial and i have a facebook group so where is the group screenshot so my group name is code with ydc so you so you can join to this group if you need any free coupon of my udemy course i have almost four course on udemy so if you need any free coupon or any help regarding your programming problem so then you can join to my group okay i will provide you free coupon or lot of video tutorial so don't forget to join to this group so you will get group link in description okay so i think that's it for this part we will continue it from our next part thank you